Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Leo. Uh, is it a good idea for you to reach out for February 2023? You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So um, this is a reading for the Leos that are currently in no contact with somebody. So we're going to take a look and see if it's a good idea for you to reach out to this person and what will happen if you did reach out to this individual. You can apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the roles if you, you want. It could be the other way around where this person that you're in no contact with is wondering this about you, okay? Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message did resonate with you, um, you could check your other placements, okay? Uh, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. All right. So tell me about uh, Leo, the person that Leo is in no contact with. Is it a good idea for Leo to reach out to the person that they are in no contact with for February 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Leo. I almost said Jupiter. Yeah, you could pl apply it to your Jupiter if you want. Let's see. Okay, I'll, go I'll take that. Okay, Seven of Pentacles here. Someone here is doing some reassessing here. Definitely looking back at some past mistakes here, okay? You know, the Seven of Cups. Yeah, someone here is definitely doing a lot of introspection right now. Um, whoever this is, this is an individual that is completely in love with you. It's kind of like, let's say this person went over to the other side of the grass, okay? This person realized that it, it was not worth it. Yeah, it basically was not worth it. And uh, Three of Pentacles and Eight of Pentacles, we have someone here that wants to work things out here with you, okay? So, Leah, let's say your person went over to the other side of the grass. They thought they were going to have a fine and dandy time there. They didn't find what they were looking for. They only want you. Now, with the Two of Wands here, it's kind of like they're trying to make a decision whether they want to come back or not, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like it might not be a good idea to reach out because I feel like, you know, because of the situation that happened here, um, I feel like you're really pissed off, okay? This is so interesting. I feel like this person might spin, spin this story on you. Like, for example, like if you do reach out to this person and this person, you're going to bring this up. Oh, like, why did you what, go over to the other side of the grass? You know, and then this person's going to spin that on you and say, like, oh, why didn't you stop me? Or like, why didn't you convince me or something like that? You know, it's kind of like, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you gave this person their space to do what they need to do, you know? So, um, you know, they went and had the experience and the experience didn't work out. And, you know, now they want to talk to you. Seven of Pentacles. So, Leo, like I said, you can switch the roles if you want. Maybe you're in this position. The Death card, Scorpio energy. Seven of Cups, Four of Swords. I feel like the connection ended here because someone here got really, 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 really bored. Yeah. Whoever this is, I feel like this person tends to get bored very easily. Three of Pentacles here. We have the Six of Swords, Eight of Pentacles here, and the Moon. I also feel like, you know, this person couldn't move forward here with you because I feel like this person has a lot of fears. Yeah, maybe this person fears commitment. Maybe this person fears intimacy. Maybe this person fears getting close to somebody. Now, um, you know, I feel like, you know, this person exploring other options was distracting themselves from their fears. Okay, uh, the moon, Cancer, Pisces here, the Ace of Cups here, and the Two of Swords, Two of uh, Wands here, and the Two of Pentacles. It seems like they're in love with you, but at the same time, with all the twos here, I also feel like this person doesn't really know what they're looking for or know what they want. You know, I, I also feel like, you know, because of this person's fears, this person doesn't have the tools or the ability or the capabilities of actually sustaining a healthy romantic relationship. 
This doesn't have to be like in romance, but this could also be in friendships. This could also be in family. This could also be in the work setting here for this person. Okay. Um, tell me what will happen if Leo reached out to the person that they are in no contact with. Oh shoot, I have an itch. Hold on. Okay. What will happen if Leo reached out to a person that they are in no contact with for February 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Someone here is definitely looking for a new beginning. I mean, you could be looking for, you could be wanting a new beginning here and uh, the other person also. Okay. We have the Eight of Cups. I'm going to take this because every single two is out on the table here. Whoever this is, this person has a hard time making a decision. One of the things I'm getting here is, yeah, this person wants to come back around. This person seeing you as their wish fulfillment here. Whoever this is, this person definitely wants to care carefully sneak back into your life with the Knight of Pentacles here and the Seven of Swords. I don't even think you trust this person. Yeah, um, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles here and the Nine of Wands and the Eight of Cups here, you could just be walking away for good and you're just like, kind of like your guard is up with this individual. It could be that, you know, you could be holding back or that this person basically has nothing to offer. Uh, you know, it just seems like this person's not really emotionally invested or this person's a bit of an empty shell. This person's guard is up, you know, um, with the star card here and the two of cups, this person's definitely seeing this connection as like hotter than sliced bread here. It seems like they made a bad decision here, okay? Uh, it seems like they're just overwhelmed with emotions here towards you. Now, you know, Leo, at the end of the day, I, it, you have free will yourself. I mean, you do what's right for you, but I, I just feel like this person's not really coming back changed. You know the saying, you know, if it's meant for you, it will come back. But if it's meant for you, this person will come back different than before. You know what I mean? Better than before, a better version of themselves, okay? The Knight of Pentacles here and the Five of Cups, the Seven of Swords here, and the Page of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. This person definitely has regrets here. Not one single mature energy here, by the way. We have a Knight and a Page. So I feel like this person hasn't really completely grown up here. Okay. Yeah, you know, Leo, I see you letting this go. I see you moving towards the future here. Okay, it could be a situation that this person has a hard time letting you go and they can't move to, towards the future here without you. Okay, There's de they're definitely coming back around with an offer and an apology. Um, you know, I see you rejecting it. Like, I see, you, I see you accepting the apology, but I see you moving on, Leo. Okay, so Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys, bye.